here I am again for another video podcast or a video as I like to call it. It's just where I share my yarny things. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for watching. If you're a new viewer, thank you for watching my craziness as always. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe if you like my contents. I'm not everybody's cup of tea. And put the bell up just so you know every time I upload which is bi-weekly but recently I have been off my schedule so I've been a little crazy but I have why a reason why but let's go to the knitting things so I actually have two finished objects and a whip and then I have purchases and then I'm going to tell you why, the reason why I have not been here. And I forgot something as well. If you want to follow me on social media, my links are going to be down below because I usually don't mention anything. But that's how I roll. So at finished objects, I finished this cute hat. I believe I started this hat on January. Or even on February, one of those months. So this is the Mia hat by Erin. Give me yarn four one eight here on YouTube, and this pattern I actually want it. And if you purchase any of her patterns, all all the proceeds will go to her nephew. That is, um, that has brain cancer. He has a tumor. And all the proceeds, all the money that you, of the purchases will go towards him, towards Seth. So it is a good cost. And this is the Mia hat. As you can see here, it has a beautiful cable in the middle. And then it has this beautiful patterning along the hat. I, I do love this pattern. It's... I like to cable, I don't know why, but I like to cable. Well, I was cabling this, I actually broke my cable needle when I grabbed it back up because I was a little tense. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sick. That's another reason why I wasn't here making a video. And I was a little tense. I had a lot of work, not work, work from Michael's, not, not from my official work job but yes and this is Manos del Uruguay yarn I don't know where I left the tag but I lost it I, I don't know I don't know where I put it but it is Manos del Uruguay it's a thin and thick yarn I knitted it as it was a worsted weight but in some parts it's a little bulky and some parts it's like a DK so I don't know. The the pattern uses four millimeter needles and I use my interchangeable hat size knit picks. They're hat the hat ones. <laughs> They're beautiful. They're like turquoise and I have showed them to you before. <clears throat> but I really don't know the name of them. But yes, there's a 16 inch inch cable so I knit this in the round and I used a cable needle for this and I broke the cable needle because it was plastic and I was tense and all that yada yada and then the yarn wasn't actually this color it was natural color and I dyed this myself watching a video tutorial here on YouTube I dyed this yarn with food coloring to get this beautiful gradient yarn from purples that it looks blue but it does have purples and blues and grays and little speckling and then here in the top is darker so here is and maybe in the camera in pictures you can't see it as much but it goes from purple to a lighter gray with specklings of purple and then it goes to a really dark purple here a uh, dark gray sorry in the crown of the hat and I do like it. I'm going to wear the crap 
out of this hat. Sorry for my language, but I am. I'm going to wear this in winter so much because it's so pretty, guys. It's so pretty, so nice. It fits awesome. And I think it's the first 100% wool hat that I have made. And this yarn is pretty good. I got this yarn at a D stash on Ravelry. <clears throat> really cheap, like for $6. No, like $3.50 or something. And then it was plain, it was in my stash. I wanted to dye I wanted it to die I wanted it for dyeing, but I had never got the chance to actually dye it. So waited and waited and when I had some free time. I did that. It took, seriously, dyeing that yarn took two days because it was not super wash. So I had to wait till it cooled down completely, then wrap it around again so it wouldn't felt, and then dye it the other color I wanted. I think it's a single ply. I think it felt it just a little bit, but it was a good thing because it's sim it's a single ply, so it um it actually made it stronger, made the yarn stronger and less fuzzy, and it ended up beautiful. Like the hat, I want to enter this hat in a I want to enter this hat in my county fair to see if it wins at least a third place. If not, I don't really care. It's beautiful. I love it. And that's what matters. So yes. The other hat I finished, I finished actually today. And today is July 2nd, just so you know. Usually I don't even say the dates because I'm like that. I finished this hat right here. Yes, I'm sure you're the right sign. This hat right here. It is a little bigger, so it's kind of slouchy and I haven't washed it or anything. This yarn is a wool acrylic blend. Uh, here I have the tag. It is a 65% acrylic and 35% wool. It's Wool Blend Yarn Duo, handmade modern. It's a yarn they sell at, or used to sell at Target. <clears throat> I, this yarn I didn't buy it. It was actually given to me so I could make a hat with it. The person had a, they wanted both of the colors because this is a cream with some sparkle or a Selena as they call it, but it's just sparkly metal pieces or plastic. I used a cream color here and then it had some variegated with cream and a taupe color and I put that as well. So I striped it. So I made one line with cream, one line with the variegated one and so and so. And I put a humongous big pom pom. I connected the pom pom with just, I don't know if you could see it, a bow here. Just in case they don't like the pom pom, they can just undo the bow and leave it without a pom pom. I think it looks really cute. Plus, I like hats with big, chunky pom poms. That's my thing. I'm I'm going to enter this one without a pom, but once I enter it, I'm going to put that pom pom in a fur pom pom because that's what I like. <clears throat> Anyways, that pattern, this pattern is a front post, back post, a double crochet, and then an 8 millimeter needle, I mean crochet hook. Sorry guys, crochet hook. I'm forgetting my crochet terminology. What's going on? Crochet hook, and it uses two balls of softy chunky because it, it is a pattern by yarnspirations.com. It's a free pattern. It is the striping texture hat. It is a easy pattern, and I really do like it because it uses chunky yarn, and this yarn was chunky. It doesn't even in the ball band, it doesn't even specify what kind of weight it is. So I have to, I guesstimate it, it was a bulky, chunky yarn. So I did use it for this. Even though the variegated one was a little bit chunkier than the cream color, I didn't care. And I use a 7 millimeter needle. I know. You, you, usually you can't find a 7 millimeter needle. Um, on your regular store 
but I have some Tunisian crochet hooks that I bought from China on eBay, which I usually, I love eBay. Um, and they have the 7 millimeter needle. And I know in some other sets that they sell with metal needles, they have the 7 millimeter needle as well. So I went down a size from 8 to 7 and I used it to make this hat. And it's really simple because it tells you to actually add 40 double crochets here in the top after you do the brim. But if your head is smaller or larger, you just have to do increases by 5. And this is not because the pattern says it. It's because um, Mikey from the Crochet Crowd has a video. And he is a big help on this pattern. Because if you actually make the hat with the 40 crochet, double crochets, stitches is actually really really tight on your head and your headband that you actually crochet separately might be um, too big and you actually need a little bit more stitches so I just measure my head and if I need five more it's okay because I'm adding by five so instead of 40 this one actually has 45 stitches and the pattern works perfectly and I do love it. I'm going to actually make Rose one because I have one. I have the red one that I made with Lion Brand wool spun. And Rose has a purple yarn there that it is for this hat as well that I have it since last year. No, the year before that. It's been, I think, two years in my closet, in my yarn stash, waiting for me. And I'm going to make her another of these hats. And I want to make myself another of these hats because I think I bought some yarn to make another one. It's really nice. Especially this one is a wool blend. And because it's a front post, back post, um, double crochet stitch hat, it's really, really warm. And it's because, and it's a chunky as well. So it makes it super thick. And as you can see, it's pretty stiff because it's super stiff and, and, and thick. It's really thick and squishy. I, I do love this hat. It keeps me really, really warm in winter. And I think the person who's going to wear it is going to love it. And it's a slouchy. And I do like slouchy hats as well. They look really nice. And with big pom-poms, even better. Let's put that over there. In works in progress, I only have one thing. <clears throat> it's in my bag here from Erin. Erin gifted me this in the baggage swap that I did with her. <clears throat> I forget the name of the maker of this hat, but if I remember, I'll put it here. I know I have her on Instagram, but I forget always because I'm not good you know so if you remember I showed you that I started the socks I ripped them out blah 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 <clears throat> my last video so they have heels I changed my mind and I for the first time ever I did after thought heels on my socks and it was a very very good idea to the, the <clears throat> excuse me the double the afterthought heels because I have Rose Rose is a four-year-old and she distracts me a lot and I have to stop whatever I'm doing to take care of her me um, you know if she needs something I have to stop and give her what she needs a snack give her a shower, cook, things like that, you know, like normal people do. And for me, a heel flap, I love the heel flap, but it takes so much concentration and I need at least like a full day of people not talking to me and not doing anything in my house at all, not even picking up a plate or anything to actually concentrate <clears throat> because you have to, then after you finish the heel flap, you have to start to decreases and things like that and it takes a while and if you miss one or if you add one more you know your sock it's gonna be tighter and it 
it's fuzzy. It's fuzzy. I, I do love it, but it's a little fuzzy for people who have to multitask. But they are beautiful. And yarn, this yarn right here is from Yarn Over New York. This one is Going to Rio. And this one is ec Ectoplasm. Like ghost, um, you know, ghost matter. And this yarn right here is some Lion Brand Socky Ease, which I don't love at all. I don't know. It's it's kind of like a lace weight. It's so thin. It's a, a soft yarn that is really thin. And it is really hard to actually... I, I knitted the heels in 2 millimeter needles. And I'm knitting the socks in 2.5. Hiya, hiya. And so the actual stitches would look nice because it is really thin and I still have a ladder there because I did them with DPNs even though I have a cable needle circular and two millimeter needle but whatever <clears throat> excuse me I'm gonna be raspy all the time because of this cold but and this yarn right here I don't have the tag but if I find it, i hopefully put links below. Um, links, no, names here. If I don't find it, I'm sorry. I know it is a merino. Is it merino? No, it's a cashmere nylon blend. This one right here, the yellow one. And it is so nice, so soft. Really nice. I bought it at my sister Nets for 50% 50, 50 off. It was a mini skein, so it's 50 grams of it. So I'm making miniature socks. And I am going to put the heels, the green heels, with the this yarn. Even though I don't love it. But I'm going to keep using it so they actually match. And they're going to be such happy socks. And I have knitted more. As you can see, I wasn't even here last time, I believe. Or even, I think I was in the heel. But then, all this, I have knitted all this, and my stitch marker, I actually, my progress keeper, I actually haven't moved up from the last time I picked them up. I've been not, I have not been knitting on them constantly. I've been taking breaks here and there, and yes, and this is my cute progress keeper. It's a bumblebee. Obviously, you can see and tell that she's a cute bumblebee. I made that progress keeper which I am really proud about and I'm gonna get the other ones that I made because those are finished objects as well so. so I am back and here are my progress keepers I did this differently um, clasp here that is an earring holder that it's like that. Usually I put the lobster class, but I thought this ones would look much better and they're much easier to put on than the lobster class. And this one is a cute little donut with is a chocolate donut with a vanilla little stripe. It's the back of it. I do I like how it turned out so pretty and then I have this mushroom here with the same clippy thing no it doesn't want to focus now covering my face so focus on this. No, it's still focusing on my face. No, I'm sorry guys. There. You can see the little mushroom. Then I made this little sparkly dinosaur. I wish my camera doesn't want to focus either. 
camera you're not being the best today. What's going on? I'll focus it myself. You're gonna hear some some heavy sounds, but yeah. There. You can see him there. Glittery and sparkly. And my nails are a disaster, so sorry for that. So cute. And it has the same clippies. I'm gonna put on the other one, which are earring holders. And I have this right here with the avocado that I made as well because I'm Puerto Rican and we eat a lot of avocado, so I had to make something delicious because I love it. I love avocados, and it has the same clippies. And sorry for my nails again. They are really gross. Put a lot of moisturizer in these hands and they don't seem to fix. Here the climate in Colorado is really dry and my my skin condition gets really worse. It gets aggravated. Ugh. But sometimes when I say things like that, I don't know. You can't hear them because I talk too low, but I'm trying to talk louder. And other things I actually got a gift and then I'll go with the purchases Pause. so I got this gift here it is Alice Alice creates hand dyed ombre yarn which it is a yarn that goes from dark colors he has pinks and greens and grays and blacks and all the beautiful colors browns and oranges in this ombre yarn it is bulky targi 100% US grown targi wool it has 800 grams 186 yards it says to use a 5.5 millimeter hook or a or an eight millimeter hook or needles, yes. So those are the needles that you, or hook that you need to use. It says it's hand dyed in New York using professional acid dyes. Each ombre cake is unique because it is hand dyed, but it is so beautiful. And he actually made ombre socks. So it's a pair. It's Two skeins, I imagine 50 grams each. I'm not sure. But you can go to his website. So it is alexcreates.us. Or you can go to his Instagram, which has which it is alexcreates. And you can actually look up his yarn and everything. It's beautiful. I got this gift because I can explain now myself. I actually made bags for him so all this time that I didn't record a video I was working for him I was making him some beautiful amazing bags with um, Dominican inspired fabrics and they are pretty cute and pretty wonderful and if you want any of my handmade bags you should go to the shop and look them up they are made with love as I always make everything and I hope you appreciate them if you actually go to the shop and buy some yarn and some bags um, it was fun making them it was a lot of work because I obviously didn't um, podcast it at one time my eyes started twitching I guess I was overworked but at that time, I was a little stressful because uh, my husband wasn't in my house. He was um, in a mission, which he always goes every summer. But this time, they actually removed his phone for a few days. He didn't tell me when he was going to come back because he couldn't. I didn't know where he was. So I was working on these bags until 1 a.m. until my body just said, go to sleep. 
because I was actually I suffer from anxiety and depression, so my anxiety was overpowering me. So I was trying to keep myself distracted, watering the garden, taking care of my plants, cutting some fabric, ironing some fabric, making some bags. Um, I try to distract my emotions and everything with things and fun things and beautiful things that surrounded me. Um, I didn't knit a lot because of that, because my, my anxiety, plus I was making bags, and I wanted to be responsible because he put this upon me, and I I wanted to give my all, my 100%, make everything beautiful and perfect. And yes, I'm a little harsh on myself sometimes, but when I make things for other people, I do want to make them perfect, and want to just make them look amazing because they're not for me <laughs> and you know it's if, if I'm going to use it you know I can be all ugly and the stitch it can be a wonky and everything and the zipper can be all messed up but if it's for selling retail and stuff like that um, obviously I'm not gonna give somebody some stained fabric bags and crooked zippers and ugly things no they're, they are really the best work I have done, and you should go and check them out. And that is the reason I have not been podcasting, because I have worked, I worked my butt off of those days, and I was, I was trying to cover up my emotions, and I wasn't knitting or anything because of that. And I think most of you can understand, most of us suffer from some type of uh, mental illness. Mine is anxiety and depression. I digress a lot. So let's go to purchases and let's go. Let's go because I've, I've been talking a lot. <laughs> I haven't seen you guys in a long time. So I have a lot of things to say. So I actually bought this Andre Sue Knits sock blank. And she is, I don't even want to take it out of the plastic, I'm sorry guys, but she is, I believe this is a, she's a mermaid, but I think it's a siren, that's where she put it, it's, guys, this is a piece of art. Now I know why people just go to her shop and go crazy and I can never get an update because I'm always on mountain time over there the time is not right when I go in it's empty so when she posted this on Instagram and it popped up and it was after I watched that movie so I was still feeling sad and depressed I was like I deserve this this is gonna make me happy it's beautiful it's a mermaid I want it in my life <laughs> right now I went to her shop and it was there Boop, bought it at least like Two hours later, I checked her shop. There wasn't any more. But it was worth it, guys. I have a knit with it, but it's beautiful. Whatever I have left, I'm going to actually frame it and put it in a shadow box for our guest room. Because downstairs, I'm trying to make everything tropical and nautical. Just to give it a vacation, not vacation side of the house. I like it. I like the ocean. I come from an island. I love the sea waves and sand and all that. So I want to bring something from where I came from to my house. Um, and I usually spend all my time here in the craft room. So that will be awesome. And this is so beautiful, guys. I do love it. Um, and she added a little progress keeper. A little butterfly. It has a thank you. This bag is like super cute as well. And she actually signed the receipt saying thank you, which is really awesome because not everybody signs their receipts and stuff like that. And that is beautiful. I do love it. And I can't wait to knit with it. If you're wondering, I usually do say the prices of the things I buy, it costs $48 with the shipping yes 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 $48 with shipping um it is a little bit up the price and I am not snobby guys you know I am not snobby I love my acrylic yarn I'm not a yarn snob I 
I don't say that cashmere is better than acrylic and blah blah blah. It is better, but I don't I don't mind. I like acrylic. I I love acrylic. I make most everything out of acrylic, and I keep the good stuff for myself. Unless you're like the person I love in the mo in the world, and you're my mom. I'm gonna give you good stuff. Um. Or you're somebody who really appreciates hand knitted things. I'll give you my expensive yarn. But just um, just put in thought everything that she has to do to make that soft blank blank into a piece of art, because it is a piece of art. It takes time, effort, creativity. A lot of you know ink um, dye and everything and her processing and baking it or you don't actually bake it but you know you have to um, set it and whatever time 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 so it takes a lot of time and effort and work and stuff to make it a piece of art because that that sock of like it's a piece of art so it is worth every penny and I love it to death I, I always wanted one I felt depressed I had the money in my bank account and I just I said I deserve it this is gonna make me happy and it did when I came to the, to the mail box and I it was really fast like it got here in two days I think in two or three days it was like I ordered it and it was here it was super fast delivery it was awesome when I opened the bag I was like like Christmas it was like Christmas Every time you see something beautiful, it's like Christmas. But I am super happy about it. And, you know, it, it's, I, I deserve it, you know. I worked my butt off and I made some, some cash and I deserved it. In other purchases, on Picks, they have this 40% off sale. It says a million a million, a thousand. It's a one comma three zeros. You correct me because I really don't know my numbers in English that well. I'm really bad, guys. <laughs> so <clears throat> here I bought this. They're all uh, finger weight um, straw. This one is straw bright. I think most of them are straw bright. Uh, straw bright. And this is a 75% superwash merino wool and a 25% nylon base. Um, it is 231 yards or 50 grams of fingering weight. So this right here is in orange color because I'm in the dark because it's nighttime. It is the hot tamale colorway. And this one right here is the vibrant violet, which is more like a fuchsia purple. But you know how our cameras are with purples and blues. They don't like them. They don't like purples and blues. But if you can see where the sh light is shining, that is the real color. The other parts, no. The, the shiny parts, yes. The same with the orange. So, I'm going to put these on top of the computer here. Try not to make a lot of noise with the bag. So this is the same. Stroll bright. I don't know why this one says. This one's stroll fingering. So this one is different. So it says Zazzleberry. Zazzleberry. I have plans. <laughs> this These are for um, sock, sock knitting. So they're going to be cuffs, heels, and toes. Whenever I get to my sock knitting, you know how I am. And this one is pickle juice. This one is a bright. It's real bright. This one is sour apple in fingering, so it's different. It's not a bright. It's like a lime green. It's really pretty. And then I have stroll glimmer in black. 
So this one has sparkly bits. That's why it's glimmer. If you can see all those silver things right there, those are the sparklies. Shiny. More shiny socks too. You know, just a little hint of shine. Make it pretty. And this one is stroll fingering as well in the color navy. It actually shows blue. Wow. The camera's doing a better job than in person. So this one is for my husband's Doctor Who socks that I'm going to make. And I believe most of these were $2.31 or 50 something. They were around that price. The most expensive one was this one. That was, um, no, I think it was this one. Yeah, this one was, it was $4.99. It was regular price. And these ones were on sale for $2. And I think this one was a three, three something. So it was a little bit more pricey. But the glittery ones are a little bit more expensive. But still a good deal. Because I'm going to get at least two socks and maybe a little bit more. Maybe four socks out of each ball. Maybe. It depends how big I'm going to make the cuffs of the socks. Maybe I'll get two socks out of each. But I'm only going to buy these um, straw yarn when they put them on sale. Because I'm not paying $5 for each ball. And I just am going to use a little bit of it for the cuff and the heels and the toes. Just for that, I'm not going to actually just explode my bank account buying sock yarn. I think in total I spent like $26 on all those yarns so it was a good good buy and I am going to use them eventually slowly so and the blue one is for the sock yarn that Erin gave me because I'm gonna make some awesome cute socks for myself. The lines, the striping might not might not be um, you know they they're gonna be a couple but they're not gonna be they're gonna be twins but they're gonna be fraternal they're not gonna be <laughs> identical twins because I make two at a time I'm gonna wind the ball and I'm gonna pull from each end and the stripes that makes that's that's striping that's gonna have um, I, I really I'm not gonna fuss about that and same with my husband's socks they're gonna be whatever the stripes they are like, and if you don't if you don't want to see mismatched socks just cover your eyes and run away in fear <laughs> because they're going to be like that if they're self-striping i talk about self-striping i watched the grocery girls podcast um today and they were actually showing pattern yarn so it's almost like self-striping but it's better instead of stripes it actually makes pictures and you actually have to get the gauge right so you can actually get the pictures of your socks like right there and it was amazing guys awesome like I was like whoa I have to like check this <laughs> website out save some money and make a purchase even if I'm going to knit those, knit those socks in like five years I'm gonna have those socks Maybe if I knit a sock every month, I would be fine. You know, a sock a month. I should do that. I have a bunch of sock yarn. I should do a sock a month. And I could have beautiful socks. And it's funny because for my mom, I knit a pair of socks in two weeks. And for me, it's taken me forever because I get lazy for myself. But if it's for somebody else, I get really motivated. I like, I'm not a selfish knitter. I like to knit for other people to enjoy my thing. That is my problem. I think when I finish this and I cast on my husband's socks, I'm going to finish his faster than I finish mine. And they're going to be, his are going to be actually long socks and mine are shorties. Because I'm not motivated for myself. I don't know why. And I forgot something. Ugh. I'm the worst or video maker ever in the world. Remember that cardigan that I was knitting? I haven't touched it, but 
the last time I actually separated the sleeves. Can you see? Can you tell? Because I'm actually covering all the lighting here. And it's black, so, you know, it doesn't help. But you can see that. It has sleeves. I'm so happy. But I have to knit on it. So, yes. This is... I'm so bad with it. This is the Cecilia, 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 um, pattern. It is free on Ravelry. It is using DK. I'm using my Worcester weight from Lion Brands. And the needle size I'm using is I'm using my nickel plated interchangeables from Knit Picks and I am using a five millimeter needle or eight. Yes. And then I don't I think the the name of the yarn is charcoal. Um, something like that. And it is in my Doctor Who big bag. Talking about bags, I am actually thinking about opening my Etsy shop again. It's going to be under a different name. It's not going to be um, Comedias Crochet or something. And it's it's going to be different. It's, it might be my name here from YouTube. So it might be Ash, Ash Love Creates or Ash Love Makes. Um, it might be along those lines and I'm going to be making beautiful bags and some progress keepers as well um, yeah um, whenever whenever I open the shop I will announce it here I will announce it on Instagram there is where I'm most active so you should go and follow me there so you, when I'm not here, you can see, um, what is it, stories of me just talking nonsense. And you can see I'm not here, but I'm actually active on Instagram. So you can see I'm alive and I'm well and what I'm doing that day or whatever. Usually I make a story a day. That's how I go. Or two or three, it depends how my day is going. But yes. Uh, I want to show you some of the fabric that I bought and then I'm going to finish this. So, because I'm going to start some, most of the bags that I'm going to show you, the fabrics I'm going to show you are going to have the same lining, but then if I do sell any of them, I'm going to actually buy some fabric for the inside that is colorful cute but I want to keep it bright on the inside because usually everybody likes light colors on the inside so they can see their things yes so this is one of the fabrics that I bought this is going to be the outside fabric and this is going to be the lining it is really cute so those are going to be bags in my shop and I do hope you guys like them. I'm gonna put them all here in my lap. That would make it a hundred times easier. So I bought these alpacas or llamas pink fabric. I have these canvas fabrics. They look tribal to me like Native American fabrics and we're Colorado after all. So I like these a lot. Mexican, that could be this one as well. It's a canvas fabric. This reminded me of the, the Legacy Knits podcast because they always have the cuckoo clock going on. So this actually has cuckoo clocks and cuckoo birds. And they actually have one here saying cuckoo. So it's really cute. I like that one a lot. This one right here with the owls and the golden um, 
gold. It has gold here. It reminded me of Harry Potter. It has some witch words here, like spell words, like the bubble, fire, trouble, bubble, bubble, you know, almost like a spell. And then I have some more canvas fabric in this kind of Native American symbols or kind of tribal. I like I like this fabric a lot. Then I have some Christmas fabric here. This is going to be the exterior of the bag and this is going to be the lining. This, I think those are the only ones that are going to be a little different. I am this Halloween-y fabric. Or give me your everyday fabric. Why does it have to be Halloween? If you're goth or emo, you can always use this for whatever you want. There's goth knitters and emo knitters. And we we love, I, I love skulls. And this beautiful butterfly fabric. I love that, that one. And this one as well, for when you're traveling. I'm going to make bags my usual size and I'm going to make one of each fabric in this size right here. All of them are going to have cream interiors. The ones that I didn't show the linings are going to have cream interiors with sparkles. So they're going to be glittery, pretty. Just give me your feedback and let me know if you're interested and if you would like to go to my shop and Shop, shop around some progress keepers and some cute little fabrics and I mean bags yes I am thinking of this it will it will take me a few um, like at least like two or three months to actually start and and finish all these bags but once I do I will make a video I will let you know when they're going to be up and when is my shop opening because I don't want to open a shop and be empty, you know. And you might first get the bags and then see the stitch marker progress keepers. It depends. I need to buy a little um, oven, a little toaster oven to actually make those here in my craft room. Because every time I make one, I have to go upstairs and turn on my big oven and it's a problem. So I was actually thinking about that. I finish, um, well, I hope you guys back me up and support me and like the things I like to make and all that good stuff. Uh, and I think that will be easier for you guys to find actually my things. They're going to be in Etsy. And yes, that, that's all I have to tell you. And I hope you have a awesome 4th of July and a happy Canada Day. I guess that passed, but yeah, happy Canada Day to all Canadians who watch my podcast. If not, okay. <laughs> I hope you guys have an amazing weekend, an amazing week. Don't let anybody get you down. Don't worry about how you look and how your hair is. That is not important. The important is that you're an awesome person and you give the best that you can give to whoever is next to you. And I hope you guys always keep on knitting, keep on crocheting, and do what you love. Bye, guys.